Hello. There we go. I think we're working now. Hi, everyone. I feel like it's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? Welcome to live games. I've been mired in pre-recorded games. You'll be seeing all of those pretty soon. But hey, let's do a live one. And finally, it feels like I've been going on and on and on for ages about... I'll, pl I'll play it when it comes. And then when it finally got here, I've been waiting for ages. But we're going to play some Three Sisters. I hope I'm coming through okay. My buttons weren't working, but they should be working now. Hey, Monica. Yeah, Mo Monica, you, you basically came up with this, right? I know it says Matt Riddle and uh, Ben Pitchback on the cover, but basically... Hi, from this here. Hey, Steve. Hey, Matt. Oh, yeah, he's Patreon bot. Like, Patreon bot's had a couple of weeks off. See if they're working. So, in this game, we are planting things, basically. Strategy-wise, I will... Like, that's not the whole description of the game. I'm just going to say, like, I, I have watched videos. I have read rules. I am geared up for it. Strategy-wise, I'm probably going to be pretty poor, though. We're planting things. We're watering things. We are planting perennials, we've got bees, we've got things in the shed, we've got farmer's markets. All of these things uh, are hopefully going to earn us points. We are also against Farmer Edith, is our nemesis, uh, and we'll be destroying things. Basically, be kicking things over in our garden, and we're going to try and score as many points as possible, despite her. Um, this is the solo mode. There's a there's a multiplayer mode where you're competing against each other to get the most points. Hey, Jamway. Oh yeah, as Jamway says, there's a from the same designers and the same company. Motor City was on Kickstarter kind of recently, but for now we are three sisters ink. And I've got, if I can get it up on my screen, uh, if you go on the Bugging Geek Files section, Kel Kel has done a a nice little solo player raid, so I can have the. The rules a bit further away from me that just reminds you what farmer Edith gets rid of uh, when it's her turn so let's let's get into it then oh yeah if you'd like to help me make things patreon.com forward slash slicker drips and there's a kofi somewhere over here this is marty's space marty's asleep by the radiator downstairs there i mean the radiator is not on but try telling him that Right, I think we're ready to go then just commit to a bad strategy yeah i need to know what a bad strategy is i'm just gonna plant things so we've got these lovely orange pumpkin-y dice. Marty is in a huff. I forgot about the Marty command. Because you, you never need to change it, generally. He's in a huff. Right. We roll the dice. And we group them up by like numbers. Oh, actually, we've got twos and sixes this round. So you start off at this space and put the lower number in. And then you keep going one space at a time for all of the different numbers that have been revealed. And you have Edith in the next space along. So there's going to be eight rounds. I am the first player in odd numbered rounds. Edith is the first player in even numbered rounds. I can pick any die that I like and you do garden action and a rondelle action. You can do it in either order. But I will choose any die and do that. Edith will try and choose something that's on this space. This um gold pin space this is her favorite if she can't have something from here she will try and go to the die that's closest clockwise to it and then for your second choice you have to take the first die clockwise so you only got free choice on your first selection your second one is just going to be the lowest one so you can think about what you want to do but you can also see what edith is going to do if you take things so if i take a two She's going to take this two and do her favourite action, damage my apiary, and if I take a six, she would take a two, I would have to take a two, she would take a six. Is there any way of doing this different? I don't think there is the way these have come out. Because I can't do two twos, because I'll do one, she'll take one, and then we both do a six. If I do a six, she'll take a two, I have to take a two, she'll do a six. Only the order will change, won't it? We're basically doing one of these each. So, for planting things, we will get to plant things anyway, but if I take a six, I'll be able to do double planting because the rondelle action here is plant or water. And the main action is 
planting and watering. You do a garden action and the rondelle action with your thing. Oh, you have to do a garden action first. So we're going to have to go to two different areas anyway. Yeah, she gets rid of pumpkins a lot, doesn't she? Uh, so I think let's go for a sixth. Let's do some planting because we can, we can do stuff in the apiary, but I don't know how much of an effect that's going to have just yet. Get the rule book for my full text on what Edith's going to do. She crosses off a whole crop, doesn't she? But she doesn't cross off crops that you've already planted. So I could, if I went two, then she does a two, then six, then she does a six. She will cross off my pumpkin. She basically crosses off a whole plant and stops you planting it in the first place. Now I'm going to stick with my original plan. Let's go for a six. So I can plant all water. And then the garden action, the main thing you do with the die, is plant all water. So I'm basically going to get to plant all water twice. The section in your garden you do it in is based on the number of the die. You can spend compost to adjust your die, and you get some other powers. We've only got one compost, and really, I don't mind about anywhere, do I? So we might as well give it a go. I think then, let's get planting. We can plant, it's corn is the big one. The one that's got three squares and then a circle. Circle means it's done and it's harvested. You plant at the very bottom. So you can plant these corn plants. The beans you can only plant once the corn has grown to a certain level. And the pumpkins are separate to it. They, they can just be planted anyway. Well, squashes, they're not pumpkins, are they? So it's up to what, what do I want to plant? Edith's going to get rid of stuff in section two and section six. So if I plant a great pumpkin now, she'll get she'll completely cross out this one and the other way around, she'll destroy one as well. They take a bit more growing, but you'll get more goods for the bigger pumpkin. But you can plant two things with the garden action. You can either plant two things or you can make the whole area, you can water the whole area so everything in it will grow. But I think it makes sense at the start anyway. Let's get two corn planted. Two planting actions. With the die, I could do it in either order, really, because the actual thing is I could now water those two things. But I think it makes more sense, right, to plant more things. And then when the zone gets watered, loads of things will get watered. So I could plant the pumpkins, right? But then she would destroy corn and beans. Hmm. I think I'm going to get another corn planted, and I'm going to get the big pumpkin planted. There we go. Hey Hans, how's it going? <laughs> hey, you know you've. It's it's usually the other way around, isn't it? I'm I'm supposed to know the games, and show them to you, but you know it really well already. Right. So Edith's turn. She will try and choose a die on here if she can. She can. So she will choose this too. She gets a garden action and a rondelle action. And she always does garden action, then rondelle action. You can do it in whichever order you like. So in the garden action, she will cross off one crop in this place. So section two. And what does she choose to cr cross off? The pumpkin. Her priority is pumpkin, then corn, then bean. She won't cross them off, though, if you've planted them. So I've kind of... Yeah, maybe I should have gone for two first and planted this pumpkin. But she is basically... I'll use a red pen for Edith. She has destroyed that pumpkin. That's her garden action. And then her rondelle action is for apiary or fruit. And she crosses off an empty box indicated by the blue... Um, Push pin. So if, on this action, she will cross something off in the apiary. On this action, she would cross off some fruit instead. Uh, if it's the apiary, it's determined by the number on the die. So one, two, three, four, five, six. She basically crosses off the top space so you can't get to the best thing. So one or two, she crosses off in the wax place. I can't get these four goods and five points anymore. She has stopped me being able to do that. 
Then for my second die, I have to choose the two right. I have to... Your second one, you've just got to choose the lowest thing around. Yeah, next die in clockwise direction from Farmer Edith. So I'm going to get to plant some things in too. So I've, I've let the pumpkins get destroyed. So I'm going to just plant two corn, I think. And then I can do apiary or fruit. And we should. The buttons are working. We can do apiary or fruit. So starting off at the apiary from the bottom here. And then once we get a load of things crossed off, we can start to branch out. The rewards for the second and fourth crosses at the apiary are fruit actions. But with the fruit, oh, we, can't, we haven't got a shot that's just all of the fruit. You go from left to right and the spaces, you know, the circle spaces are harvesting things. So I could just do like a fruit, cross that off and I would get three goods. Goods are really good for getting you bonus actions. You can get bonus actions once you get to these stars. So I'm tempted by just crossing off a fruit, but then I'm also tempted to go for the first space along the apiary and get ready for a free fruit action in a little bit. Because it is just one... It's the whole rondelle action just for one thing. Yeah, there's a, there's a timer on the bot. It, it'll, the bot is working, but it'll only let you do it so often. I think... I think I'm going to go for... Is there a reward for somewhere for harvesting raspberries? Because some give you extra things for harvesting the other things. I think I'm just going to go for raspberries because I don't think I would want to wait. There's no bonuses that would reward me for holding off on these. Whereas these give you extra goods for harvesting peaches, uh, for harvesting blackberries, apple or peaches. So there's nothing that would give you extra stuff for raspberries. I want to go for raspberries and I get three goods Five goods gets me a bonus action. Uh, there we go. And so Edith takes the last action and she is going to cross something off in section six. Priority is pumpkins. There's an unplanted pumpkin there and it's going to stay unplanted. She's destroyed it. And then plant all water. She basically does that again. So she is going to cross off my other corn, right? Will she when she gets to crossing off beans, does she go does she prioritize beans that I can plant? Now corn your choice, beans your choice. That's not too bad then. So if she comes to six again, she's destroying this bean because this corn because I haven't planted it. Uh, and then with beans, I could choose her to destroy that one because I can't plant it anyway, because this corn's never gonna get planted and grow to the next stage. So there we go. If she chooses six again, there's that at least. So we've done all of the actions. Yeah, she's had all of her thing. She doesn't get involved in the actions in the event phase, does she? We've had the gardening phase where we do all of the stuff. And then in the event phase, every player, not me, uh, not her, uh, does the bonus here. So first of all, it's shed. Take a shed action. So the shed... Has got loads of things here. You can't quite see them all. I should have done these actions, these uh, these angles differently. Marty was going to be in the way though. So I could basically get some powers. I really liked when I was looking up at the start, this seed spreader here. When planting, plant up to three crops rather than just two. Get more things started. You do have to take one, two, three, four shared actions to get that done. Whereas other things, mason jars, just the one thing, and then you get an extra good for every blackberry you harvest. Points for extra fruit, points for the farmer's markets. There's so many different things that you can do. But I th I think I'm going to go for that seed spreader. I'm going to see if I can get that done quickly. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so, that's the end of the round, isn't it? It's round two. We roll the dice again. Hopefully I haven't missed anything out so far, have I, Monica? So we've got ones, twos, and five. So one on shed time, twos on one compost and four goods, and five on apiary or fruit. 
So Edith is first in even rounds. She will she can't select a die from her favorite space, so she goes to the next clockwise space, which happens to be number one. So her garden in action, she destroys something in number one. It's going to be a pumpkin in number one. If she has a choice, she will destroy the best one, the tallest one. So that's gone. And then her rondelle action is shed time. And so she's going to get in the way of my shed. Um, based on the icon on the rondelle. So shears, and it's a one, she destroys my mason jar. So I, if I had gone for that, uh, it would have been done and she wouldn't have destroyed it. But she is getting in the way and destroying my mason jars. Haven't got that. Okay, so that's done with. And now I can choose something. So no matter what I choose, I'm going to get to do a two. And no matter what I choose, Edith is going to take a two and destroy things. So do I want to get things planted first? A compost and four goods is the bonus. Apiary or fruit over here. I'm going to get to do both of them. It's just which order do I want to do them in? So what's... Oh no! Her bonus is cross off the next space on the goods track. If she does compost and goods first. So whatever I do, I want to earn goods. Which I will do whichever I go for actually. I'm going to go for two. I'm going to, to the Rondale action, gain a compost and four goods. One, two, three, four. And then plant two things. I can water two, but I'm going to just plant things again. I'm just going to plant another couple of things over here. And so I've reached the star, haven't I? So I get a bonus action. Make sure I'm getting it all right. It is lovely, isn't it? Hey, Paper Smith. Right. Yes, yeah, so you gain a bonus action that lets you fill in the next empty box anywhere in any space apart from your garden. So the perennials that we haven't even got to yet. We start off with smaller bonuses and build up to big, big points later on. Another space in the seed spreader. Then I'm only a couple away from finishing it off. Yeah, I talked myself into that. I'm going seed spreader for my bonus space. So I've planted things. I've had my compost and goods. So we go to Edith. Edith is going to cross something off in section two. There is a corn left, so she destroys a corn. And then one compost and four goods. For Edith, that is cross off the next bonus action on the goods track. So I am not going to get the bonus action here. Like, if, if I... It still counts as a number for goods, right? Like, I know I don't get the bonus action, but if I was to get three goods now, do I skip the space entirely? Because the rules are like, skip the space. But I think I still cross it off, I just don't get the bonus action. Uh, my final thing anyway... So it's going to be a garden action in five, which is going to be planting, isn't it? Let's face it. And you will get bonuses if you link up the pumpkins. So I'm tempted to take a pumpkin. It's only a little one. I'm going to plant a pumpkin and then let's plant some corn. And then apiary or fruit. I don't know why I suddenly feel really locked into doing the fruit. But why not? Let's get those goods, those bonus actions. Uh, three raspberries. One to you skip the space entirely thanks monica right so four away from another good and yeah that's that's me done isn't it i've had my fruit i've had my planting there we go uh, so the boat the event action at the end is rain so we go through our things and everything gets watered and grows by a space that's been planted and you do your sections in order. So I haven't planted anything in one. In two, everything grows a space that's been planted. So now I can plant beans in all of these spaces. 
nothing planted in three, nothing in four. In five, we've got the pumpkin, which is now grown, fully grown and harvested. And I get one good. And then this grows another space. And then in six, all of these things grow. So a lot of potential to plant beans now. If we get the chance to, of course. Round three. Is it the same in Fleet the Dice Game? I still haven't played Fleet the Dice Game. I'm going to look out for it at the Bring and Buy. If we get into the Bring and Buy, who knows what it's going to be like at the UK Games Expo. So, all fours. Okay, not much choice in that then. There's going to be a lot of things destroyed in sheds. So, it's number four, and. We're on the mower, so she's going to get rid of string trimmer. So that's, she just ignores the second shed action, doesn't she? Because that's already been destroyed. Either way, I'm first. So plant all water in four. I've planted nothing in four. And do you know what? I'm going to go for the pumpkins. I'm going to... Now Judith is going next and is going to destroy pumpkins. So I'm not getting a really big... There is a bonus somewhere for like your biggest, uh, a point per harvested pumpkin in your longest chain. Because the longest chains you get all these linking bonuses. I'm not going to get that because whichever two of these I plant, because unfortunately I've not finished with the seed spreader yet. Yeah, even if I do shed time, I'm still one off doing the seed spreader. Whichever two I plant, Judith's going to destroy the next one. So I think I will plant this one here that doesn't even need to be grown and I'll get a good. And then the one next to it. Because now I have harvested these two adjacent ones. It's when you harvest them, isn't it? Uh, I get a perennial bonus. They link it in between here and it's a hydrangea. So I cross off that I can have that bonus and I do the bottom space on the hydrangea track, which is an apple. So I get my first apple, which is worth absolutely nothing, but the next one is worth three points. And if I can get the pie safe, it will give me a good for every apple or peach that I harvest. If I can get those in time. It is shed time, but I am going to go for seed spreader. See if we can um, see if we can get it. Okay, so then Edith is taking the four, so she will destroy a pumpkin. And then she does shed time. Mower number four takes her to string trimmer. So she destroys this. Oh no, wrong colored pen. She destroys the string trimmer and I can't do it anymore. I'm glad, I'm glad you hit some of my questions, Monica. And then four again. Still haven't got my seed spreader, but I can have my seed spreader because I can do shed time first. So shed time one more time. It's going to give me two points at the end. But now I have my ability. I've filled in all the boxes. When planting, plant up to three crops. So I'm going to plant all of this corn. One, two, three with a plant action from the actual die itself. There we go. Just did the things the other way around. And then Edith is going to destroy... She can't destroy any, coin, any corn because I've already planted it so she is going to start destroying beans instead destroys that one and then shed time she's already destroyed the string trimmer so that's it isn't it she doesn't go to the next one i think i've already asked that shed time uh if you've already completed it or if she's already crossed it off she passes there we go so now we go to the farmer's market uh, and so this is based on how many goods you've got it will give you rewards based on that. I have got at the moment 13 goods. So I come to this line here, I get a perennial action and a compost. So there's my compost. And then a perennial action, I could get a fruit, I could go up on the hydrangea for a bit. I mean, two goods for every peach harvest would make it attractive to harvesting peaches in the future. But if I go for hyacinth here as my perennial, 
I get two goods, which then gives me a bonus action, which I could use to get another perennial, if I wanted that. And I think... Yeah, it's going to be that pie safe. Let's work towards making that pie safe. Some extra goods if I harvest some apples or peaches. So we've had the farmer's market. It's time for round four. There's going to be some more rain at the end of this. So I'd like to get some things planted. But Edith's first, so we'll see what we can do. What have we got? Two, three, four, six. Edith goes there. And... So, can she take this apiary space, her favourite? Yes. So, she will take it. She is going to destroy something in Garden 3. There are pumpkins, so she destroys my best potential pumpkin. And then the action was... Ape, the, the blue pin is on apiary. So, she destroys... It's a number 3, so she destroys the top space of my middle section. I can't get 8 points for maximising the honey. And then it's my choice. So Edith's second choice is just going to be clockwise, isn't it, for both the yeah, same rules as me. So now there is some choice at play here. Because the bonus here is the farmer's market again. Another perennial, another compost. Plant things in two. I mean, that's three beans planted. And if I leave this, she will destroy a bean in there. And then when she does farmer's market... She crosses off the topmost empty box of the Hydrangea, so I wouldn't be able to get the seven points for Hydrangea if I let her do that. Or she crosses off two things in section four, which would mean I can't plant in section four again, basically, because their bonus is plant or water. Or she would cross off something in the shed again, wouldn't she? She would cross off casserole dish, which isn't terrible. A point per two beans. And she'd cross off something in section six, which would be a bean. I feel like two's worse if she gets to cross off the top space of the hydrangea. I don't know that I'm ever going to get there. And I could get three of these beans planted at the moment in section two, and it's about to rain. I'm going to go for two. Shed is better than lots in four. Yeah, I, th I think four is a little bit... It, it's a bit wasteful, isn't it, planting in there? If I can plant three things, there's only two available planting things now. It feels like if I have to do something in four, I'd do some watering. But the rain's probably going to take care of a lot of that for me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for two. Because otherwise Edith takes it. So I am going to... Oh, that it's better that she takes... I can't make her take the shed, though, can I? Because... What was it? Um, I can make her take this by leaving it there. Or oh, does she go... Yeah, for a second choice, she just goes clockwise from the Edith pawn, doesn't she? So if I leave this here, she'll take this. I feel like her destroying things in two is worse than letting her destroy two things in four. I would let her take that thing in the shed, but I can't... The way it works, right, I can't make her take that. For her first choice, I could. But yeah, I'll, I'll go with my two. So I'm going to do plantings again. I can now plant these beans because we've got some slightly grown corn. So I can plant three things. And if she destroys things in two, actually, she, she can destroy this bean. So if she chooses a two in future, it's not too bad. And then the farmer's market, again, is... I don't have any more goods. Oh, I've got 15. Still doesn't take me to an extra section. So it's another compost and another perennial action. And I think... What's it going to be? 
it's going to be a shared action. Bottom of the daffodil here is a shared action. Let's get this pie safe, locked in, and then we can start harvesting apples and peaches and getting goods for them. So Edith takes the next one along, and it's going to be destroy something in section four, which is going to be one of my precious beans. And then she does it again because the bonus is plant or water. But now she can't really hurt me in section four in that way anymore. And then I have number six. So in six, we can plant things still. We've got, yeah, we can, we can plant three beans. One, two, three beans. And then shed time. I suppose I was getting shed time anyway. I didn't really need to do that. Take a perennial instead of the rondelle action. Spend three compost for a bonus action. I mean, I'm not really using this compost, am I? I mean, later on, I'm probably going to be really glad of it. Extra perennials at farmer's markets. I'm going to go spend three compost for a bonus action. I don't know how much I'm going to get to do that, but it feels good. Right. So rain again. So nothing, nothing still planted in number one. I don't think ones have come out very much. I think the only one that came out, Edith took straight away. So nothing there. In section two, we have some growings. We have a harvested bean there. Another one there. And another one there. So points, point each for those beans. And nothing planted in three still. In four, we now get a little bit of growth. Five. Oh, we did that. I was just wondering why there's hardly anything planted in five. It's because we planted this pumpkin that's already been harvested. We need to get some more things planted in five. And then in six, pumpkin grows a bit more. And so does all of this stuff. And we've got three more harvested beans there. We want the... Where is it? A point per two beans. Casserole dish. I mean, it feels like we've got a lot of beans already. So, oh, the rain barrel's nice as well. After rain, choose another zone and water it again. For now, though, we're in round five. So I get first pick, don't I? In the odd ones. So what have we got? We've got three, four, and two fives. So what do I want? So if I let her take compost and goods, she crosses off the next space on the goods track, which I'm not too fussed about. Messing up another thing in three, it would be another pumpkin, which I'm not happy about. In four, she would destroy fruit, which would be the rightmost blackberry. Mm, that could be worse as well. Because she can't destroy anything in four, can she? Because I've already planted it all. So it feels like leave the four to her. There are bonuses, you know, for, for harvesting blackberries, but I can't get that either. She destroyed that. And then we both do a shed time. She will destroy in the shed. It's five mower. She destroys the wheelbarrow. Get a good after a shed action. But I think that's better. And then I can get four goods here. Yeah. And get some things planted in three. So I'm going to go for this. I suppose this pumpkin is completely cut off as well. So I don't know if it's worth planting. It still get you a good. When it's finished. But I've kind of let her destroy a lot of these, haven't I? I get a compost and four goods anyway. And I can plant three things in section three. I can adjust the number, of course, with my compost, but it feels like that would be a bit of a waste. Do I plant that pumpkin? It's a good, and it might be the good that gets me this bonus action. Plant a pumpkin, and then two corn. There we go. Edith can't take her favourite, so she goes along from it, and she is going to destroy something in four. She can't. She's already destroyed everything that's not planted. But then she destroys the rightmost blackberry. I can't have that. And then in five, I can plant all water. Oh, well, five can have loads of planting, can't it? I can plant the bean. There's loads of time for that, though. One, two, three corns get planted. And then shed time. 
I will do the... Oh, she takes perennials, does she? When she... I've missed that bit. Uh, which perennial does she take? Which one, sorry? What does she take the perennials for? What was I doing? I planted three things, don't you worry about that. Shed time. I think, yeah, I'm building the shovel with my shed time. I'll catch up on what Edith needs to do. So I can spend three compost for a bonus action now. It feels worth doing. I'm going to spend three compost. I can, I can do that at any time, right? Yeah, at any time. One, two, three. I've still got two compost for choosing things. Oh, she crosses these off. Uh... I haven't got that in mind. I'm not going to let her do it. Pumpkins, corn, or beans. I've got in mine. Yeah, it could have been an old one. That is harsher. Because I will still get that crocus when this grows a bit more. And when this pumpkin grows one more, I've got a tulip coming. But I've, I've let... I feel like I've dropped the ball on the pumpkins a little bit here. Uh, so what was I doing? I was going to... I've got a bonus action. I've paid for a bonus action. I think I was going to harvest... some peaches I, do, I did want to kind of get this oh no i'll have my bonus this perennial here this bottom tulip where the bonus is get a fruit and i'll have that fruit be an apple i get a good when i harvest an apple so that gives me a good, which gives me another bonus action. And now I'm going to take this perennial, get two goods for every peach harvest. So that is three goods for every peach harvest, isn't it? So now we can get to harvesting peaches. What was all of that? That was me doing the shed, wasn't it? For this, and now Edith's. Got some destruction to do in five. So she destroys one corn. And then for shed time... It's mower five, which is the wheelbarrow. So can't have that. But I, I feel like that was that's some pretty good progress, I think. The farmer's market, I am now at 20 goods. Another great reason to have done that. 20 goods is the next threshold. I get a perennial and a fruit. Well, the fruit can definitely be a peach and get me three goods. Because the next peach will also let me water. Is it let me water a thing? It's not like the entire water, is it? No, it's water. A, take a water action in a zone of your choice. And then the next perennial. I mean, I'm tempted. Two more goods. One, two. That's another bonus action. And for that... I could do peaches again if I really wanted to. It's not going to be rain again for a while, is it? Yeah, I'm going to harvest a peach with my bonus action, which is three goods, two, three, and then I'm gonna to choose to water section three. So it's gonna be this pumpkin, which is a good. Now I'm worried. Oh, you only get the three? Oh. Oh, it's only harvested on the circle, okay. 
So I think I'm okay on the apple. How can I take this back now? What have I done? So I've had three peaches too many. I've had three goods too many from the peaches. But has that given me too many bonus actions now? Can I still take that back? I can get rid of the goods, no problem. I think... I suppose I could have just taken raspberries instead and that would have been the three goods. Do you think? Will that fix it? Oh, I'm growing things in here as well. Take that back. Yeah, if I chose raspberries instead, that would have given me the three goods. And then we're all square, aren't we? I think that's all right. Thanks, Bloated Pillow. Yeah, if I had chosen raspberries, I would have gotten the three goods. And I think we're everywhere now. Oh, and there's another good. I probably got the good from that, didn't I? I think that's about right. I think we're okay there. Um, yeah, so at the farmer's market... Oh yeah, I had my fruit. I think I've had my perennial. So we'll move on. Round six, and Edith's first. So... Counting you skipped the goods, Edith crossed off. Have I got one fewer than that, then? So did I have 19 at that point? I'm not going to fix... I, I can't fix that now. But for future games... Oh! I suppose it's not, um, not difficult because you just go to your total and subtract what sh the red marks. But that's annoying. At a glance, I mean. Right, so Edith's first, and her favourite's available, so she'll destroy something in three. Which she can do, and there are no pumpkins left, so she's going to destroy corn. And then she destroys something at the apiary, value three is the honey section. I haven't done a single thing in the apiary. Um, so now, she's going to do a four no matter what, and then a four is going to be left for me. I'm probably going to adjust it to something else. Yeah, she's, she's got two wasted plant actions in four, hasn't she, actually? That's that's worked out okay for me, I think. I'm just going to do this five, because then I get to do something. Uh, and I'm going to plant three beans. Two. Oh, no, I can't plant three beans. It's just going to have to be two. Do you want to do it still? I think so. Uh, and then shed time. I think this casserole dish, a point per two beans. Let's work towards that. I feel like I've got a lot of beans planted. And then Edith, garden section four, everything's planted. And then plant bonus, she can't do four again. And, but for me, I probably don't need this. Actually, rain's only going to happen once, so a water action wouldn't be too terrible. But I probably want to adjust the number, don't I? Does adjusting the number... Can I do one bit and then adjust the number? So, I mean, could I water area four and then adjust it to a three and then do stuff in three? So I get to do it in both. Or have I got to adjust the number and then do both actions in one section? I would assume I'm allowed to mess around with it a bit and do it in two different sections. You can only plant one thing in Area 3, actually. I could water in Area 3, of course. I think I'm going to... Oh, you would have to pay to do it in both zones as well. 
So that's, that's okay then, because I wanted to water in four. So I'll water in four. And get three goods. And then I will adjust with a compost, because otherwise it's just a wasted action. And I can actually... Oh, I could, I could never have planted this... Um this bean, if I've planted it before, because these haven't grown. I should probably water in here then, because I can't plant, basically. It must... Oh, it must apply to both actions. I see what you meant. You meant the opposite of what I said. That's okay, then. I'm happy doing both things to five. I think. We can take that back. I've crossed my three goods off. Am I happy doing both things to five? Yeah, because one of them can be planted now. The first one's water, and then you're, you can plant three beans. So that works out quite well, I think. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, I had last choice because this is round six. We get a shared action, so let's finish the casserole dish off. And I'll get some points for beans at the end. Yeah, that is the end of the game. I thought if it's now, that's not been very efficient. But it is the end. Round seven. Well, this is going to be really quick. My last go at uh, first choice. And we've got the potential for farmer's market here. So farmer's market, I have got 25 points. So it would still be a perennial and a fruit. And stuff in section two, that's going to water itself. I can adjust it, of course. I've got a compost. So Edith's going to take this if I leave it for her. She can't destroy things in four. And go for it. Destroy stuff in the apiary. I haven't gone there. I'm fine leaving that for her. I could do two things in six, couldn't I? Because her first choice will be this. And so I could go for this. Her first choice would be the four. I could go for this. And then her last choice would be that. If I wanted to do that. I don't think it would help me in any way to do that. I don't want to do stuff in six. So I would be adjusting again. I probably want... To get stuff planted in five. Can I? I can adjust it to. Yeah, dice values can wrap from six to one. So I could plant some things in one. I don't know how useful they would be right now. We're going to have to do it anyway. Yeah, we both just take the next one clockwise, don't we? Oh yeah, her first one would be this, and then her second choice would be clockwise from the Edith figure. Her first choice is clockwise from this space. Yeah, so if I leave the two, she will take it for her second action. But I don't know what I'm leaving yet. So I can do a six. Let's do a six. Adjust it to a one, and do both things in the new area. So let's get some things planted. Let's get a pumpkin planted, and let's get two corn planted. It feels late now to be doing this. And then second action. It's going to have to be water then, isn't it? If you want more things, planting. Actually, forget this pumpkin. We could get points doing it the other way. Just do the corn. Because then if you do that other action, you can plant three beans. I think that's all right. Oh, I have to do two next. So she would destroy. There's nothing to destroy in six, actually. So that works out perfectly. I don't know about perfectly, but all right. I've used all my compost, though, which might not be all right. Uh, so Edith goes to section four, can't destroy anything, but destroys the split hive in the apiary. Oh, wrong colour, but yeah, I haven't got that. And then I have to choose the clockwise one. So section two is kind of going to water itself. I could plant this bean with my action, but I've got no compost. So first of all, I could do my farmer's market. 
I've got 25, so it's a perennial and a fruit. Is that going to help me in any way? No, because I don't think a perennial can get me any goods. At the moment, it could get me a compost, though. There we go. Well, let's go for the crocus, plus two compost. And then the raspberries can be three goods. Close to goods there. So I've had all my stuff, haven't I? Oh, and then the dye itself. I, pro it... I probably want to focus on section one then, don't I? Adjust it to a one. Oh, I've done lines instead of dots. There we go. I'll have to fill in the dot to show I've used it. Let's plant three beans, because they will at least grow. Yeah. And then Edith destroys something in section six, but it's all planted. And then destroys something in section six, but it's all planted. So she's wasted her time there. Farmer's market again. We are at 28 things. So still a perennial and a fruit. So perennials. I mean, it feels a bit late, but the hyacinth here, 10 points if you could get to the top of it. I don't think I can. I think I've gone to too many and let too many pumpkins go at the start and lost a load of these interlinking bonuses. Having said that, I am going to go for hyacinth. For the perennial. And then the fruit is just going to be raspberries again. For goods, one, two, three of them, which gives me a bonus action, which is going to be this perennial, which gives me two goods. Might get to the top of it. One more is another bonus action, and there's the next perennial. Yeah, let's see how this goes. So, final round, we are going to get some rain at the end of this. So we've got ones, we've got two, we've got four, and then Edith goes there. So her favourite isn't available. First one clockwise from her favourite is a one and shed time. So first of all, she destroys something in one. She can destroy a pumpkin, the biggest pumpkin. Oh, there was still two pumpkins available. Missed the, the tiny little pumpkin you could plant. So she destroys the... The number one, and then shed time. It is actually here. I don't know why I'm looking at the other player aid as well. Um, Mason Josh, she destroyed way back when. So that's not too bad. So I'm not really fussed if she destroys that pumpkin again. And then she would destroy the mason jars. If I leave that there, that's her next action. Whereas getting four goods and a compost and then getting fruit from here. Yeah, I'll let these be my actions. So I get free choice data for my first die. Because this is going to be absolutely useless for her. She can't do anything with this. But at the same time, I have got a compost I could use. I'm just thinking, you know, it would be nice to get some extra rain here. But no, I'm going to go for this too. I'm going to use my compost here. I know I've done it the wrong way around, doing lines first and then a dot. I'm going to adjust it to a one so I can water section one just so all of the corn will now grow with the rain at the end and then I gain a compost and four goods two three four which gives me a bonus and I'm gonna go up here I think and try and get this 10 points for the perennials then Edith comes around takes this one destroys something in section one she can't destroys my mason jars she can't as for me I can do something in four and I probably want to don't I because these aren't going to grow unless I water it. Five could do with the water as well. But I've not been as uh, good on the peaches. Yeah, I'm going to water section four. These pumpkins are finished. So I get three goods. Which gives me a bonus action. This crocus has been um, kicked off as well. So that is going to go and give me a compost. 
So my bonus action here. This is the last thing I'm going to get to do, isn't it? Well, there's going to be water in, but I don't think it's going to get me anything goods-wise. So if I choose a raspberry, that's three more goods, which isn't another bonus action. I could choose the cro crocus and then spend the three compost to do another action, but I would only use that to get these 10 points now, so I might as well just get it now, really, hadn't I? Let's grab those 10 points. I feel like there should be a lot more ticks off and things in there when you're better at the game. Well, clearly, you're meant to be higher up in this farmer market and get in better perennial things, aren't you? So that was just be watering. Oh, and then I can choose fruit. Oh, so I could have done it like, instead of taking this now, I could have chosen my bonus action to be raspberries, one, two, three, and then take the fruit action to be raspberries, which would be one, two, three, which would give me another bonus action, which can then be the 10 points. There we go. I forgot about getting the fruit. Yeah. So it's going to rain at the very end. So in section one, a pumpkin survived. Not planted, but not destroyed. Section one gets watered. Section two gets watered. Section three does, but unfortunately didn't. Oh, actually, uh, a pumpkin grows. So another good. Nothing, nothing. In section four, our corn grows. Section five, some things finish. Not as much as I'd like, but still decent. And then in section six, all of the corn that wasn't destroyed finishes. And this pumpkin finishes, which is three goods and a bonus action. Oh, and the tulip. I <laughs> think it's Monica. The tulip finishes as well. So I've got another bonus action. Unfortunately, I'm not right next to harvesting a peach so I could water, say, section five. That would be nine points if I could water section five right now. I wish I had the rain barrel. So where is it best? I mean, three per peach harvest is not going to help you now. Probably just the on the blackberries, isn't it? And getting two points. Because it's not comboing into anything else. It's the end. So there we go. Right. I think that's me. So I think we gained some points there at the very end. We'll see, though. So points from your garden. It's just all of these blue bits that we can see, isn't it? Everything that got to harvest it. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20, 23, 26, 27. 27. And then a crocus could get you a compost for one more bonus action. Do you get more points for perennials, though? It would have been one more thing that I could do, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I should keep a note of this. 3, 6, 9, turn 11, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 25, 26, 27. Am I right on that? Nothing. 30, 33, 36. 37, 38, 39, 43. 44, 47. 48, 51, 54, 55. I think 55. My God. So that's all right. We're already into like the third tier. That could have been a lot worse. 10 points on the perennials. That's, yeah. The only points are from the top, aren't they? The apiary, absolutely nothing. A lot of points and a lot of goods up for grabs. Didn't do anything there. Fruit, I got three points for these apples and two. Oh, actually, those points on the raspberries. Completely missed those. Three on the apples, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not too shabby. And then in the shed, we got 
three, four, five, six, and then a point for every two beans. So that's going to be seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in total there. So here we are on twenty, thirty, eighty-five with a little, I think a little uncorrected hiccup somewhere. But still, I thought that was going a lot worse. You've become an internet famous blogger, have I? Well, there we go. I'm sure that like, yeah, I got an extra fruit, didn't I? Where I wasn't entitled to one that probably helped me along the goods track a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see what happens. Like if you can get, I wonder how quickly you can race up this farmer's market and get all this stuff done. I think the key was like to be a bit less worried about, I got it pretty decently, didn't I? I'm not like upset about it, but I wonder like if I had been a little bit more proactive getting these pumpkins planted and getting all the bonuses in between, and then you could get that, uh, you know, a point for every harvested pumpkin in the longest chain, if you could get most of the pumpkins. I know like some you're just not going to do, are you? Because the way the numbers go in some of the rounds, there wasn't a lot of choice was there, like, especially when all four of the numbers were the same. But yeah, really, really enjoyed that. Actually, like, as a first go, just trying things out. Haven't even done this apiary at all. Haven't really gone into much stuff. Probably did more planting than anything else. More planting and um, watering, thanks to my uh, seed spreader. And yeah, look at the, the number of spaces for goods that you can get and compost that you can get. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and Edith, I imagine, yeah, she can be really kind of, yeah, temperamental, depending on what you've rolled. Oh, does though I, I did see the weather expansion. I thought leave it off for this first one. So how does the weather expansion work? Put the weather tile above the game board. Uh, it has six numbered spaces. At the end of each round, move the weather marker to the space that matches the highest remaining die on the action rondelle. In solo mode, move it to the space that matches the last selected die instead. And so we'd have things like no effect, you can't use the water action this round. You can't use the apiary. At the start of the round, take a perennial action. Oh, good one. Plus one good when harvesting fruit. Ooh, so good and bad. When planting, one of the seeds must be planted in an adjacent field, which actually might really help you out. Well, that's interesting. So yeah, that's... Um, I don't know if it comes in every copy. I was... I think this is a Kickstarter copy. I don't know if there is any difference. Uh, it was in a group pledge, wasn't it? That's why it was... Um, it came a little bit later, but you've got these cloud markers and this tractor here, and they're part of the weather thing. And as well, you've got the first play token there, a great big squash. Yeah, I look forward to trying that out in multiplayer because yeah, it's just saying no, <laughs> and so uh, it's it's a it's a cool way of doing the solo, isn't it? Like, because it's. You're planning around what's getting destroyed. Like, you can't have tons of control over it, but especially later on, you can start to see, well, if I take this first and then this, she'll do this and this. So is that worse than letting her do this instead? And in certain situations, could we... Oh, actually, she's going to have no effect with if I leave her that number. So brilliant. Yeah, I really like the, the way around doing that. But yeah, look forward to playing it multiplayer and look forward to... Try it out again. I'll probably play it a few more times without the weather expansion, but it's cool that like I've got that on top of it. And there's another, I can't remember the name of it. I have, um, I'm in another group pledge for Motor City now, and there's a little expansion coming for this, right? That's part of the Motor City thing. You could you could do it as an add-on. Uh, yeah, looking forward to Motor City. That's probably like next year now though, or late this year. I haven't actually looked. I'm just happy like. I've got a lot to be getting on with usually, especially like these last couple of weeks. I noticed there's been, there were no live streams this last week and there's only, well actually there's two this week, there's, there's a load again because I was uh, worried there wasn't any. Um, but yeah, there's there's been a lot of stuff behind the scenes, filming wise mainly, like you'll have seen some of it, but then stuff that you can see quite soon, I have got how to plays and playthroughs coming up for Dice Theme Park. So Dice Theme Park is probably going to get posted on Patreon tomorrow. 
and it'll go up next week. Uh, I finished the How to Play for Eternal Palace today, and I'm going to film, hopefully, film and edit the solo playthrough tomorrow. <laughs> it's a little lot of time staring at uh, editing these videos. And then we're live. Or actually, I it, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Um, Seize the Bean playthrough will happen, but it might be brought forward a little bit earlier, and it might just be me. Depending on how things go, we'll see then. But yeah, there's, there's going to be a couple more lives. And then next week, I don't know how we're going to fit it all in. We might have to have um, a late Hadrian's Wall the week after. And just have two in June. Because... Yeah, it's tough that it's just been a bit crammed in this month. Because, like, I thought Three Sisters... I want to do the things that got the most votes. But there hasn't really been time to do it all. And, um, yes, Dice, Dice, Host, Dice Theme Park... Eternal Palace, and I've also got Gutenberg, which Portal are doing the you know, reprints, the, I think, available in other territories as well. They're doing a version anyway of uh, Gutenberg, and I've got that that will be a playthrough next week as well, hopefully. So they're all in time for the UK Games Expo, because they are all games that are going to be available, or at least certainly playable, but I think also available at the show. So I want to have... Um, playthroughs up for them all so you can you can check them out i am going to the uk games expo i'm going to be there on friday and sunday i think well not i think i know but i don't know where i'm going to be generally things i am going to be like i'm booked in to play a couple of exciting games hopefully they're going to be grand the new cge game this basic game that peter from tabletop together has designed can't wait to see that it looks really cool from the little teaser and yeah, it's designed again. It's brilliant. Remember back, way back when we were doing those um, geek lists and things? How things change. Uh, but yeah, I'll have things for the UK Game Expo though. I said like so, some, a couple of people have said like, is it going to be like some kind of live stream? We've never tried to do that before. I don't know how like the sound would be. We'd probably have to find somewhere quiet, but that would all like depend on the, the Wi-Fi, I guess, or the, the signal that we're getting. I'll try and do something anyway. There'll definitely be a video afterwards as there usually is, but it would be cool to do like at least a little thing while we're there. It would be cool to film some things while we're there, because usually I'm carrying things about or rushing about. But we'll we'll see how it goes, because it's like it's the first thing I've been to, really, since um, I know it all opened up and stuff last year, but I didn't go. Uh, so this is the first one I've been to since Essen 2019. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system, isn't it? I imagine, but hopefully a fun one. So there we go. That is a first go anyway. I I hope, I'm sure, there's going to be some more Three Sisters action in the near future. Hopefully, you'll be up for seeing some of that because, uh, yeah, I'd love to do some more live as well. And yeah, there's going to be all that stuff that I mentioned, some coming up on Patreon this week and next week. A lot of it's on the main channel next week as well. Hey, help support me so I've got more time to do all of these things and so I'm not as uh, panicked trying to get it all done in time for a convention. Thanks everyone for being here with me. As I said, I'll be back. I will post what time it's going to be. Closer to the time. It's I know it's like scheduled for 5 o'clock tomorrow, the Seize the Bean. I might bring it forward a little bit and do it at 4 and stuff, but that depends on how I get on filming the stuff in the day. I will let you know anyway. We will be doing some Seize the Bean though, I hope. Uh, and yeah, there'll be all stuff to come. Thank you very much for joining me, everyone, and for making all of this possible, and for doing all this stuff. Thanks, Monica, as well, for helping me out. And Bloaty Pillow for keeping me on the straight and narrow with me rules on Three Sisters. I will see you all tomorrow, but for now, hey, Taskmaster's on, and uh, UK time. Get watching Taskmaster, everyone. There might be some swinging sausages again. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.